right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year nine with our Tampa Bay Lightning. And you know, the start of the season, not too bad, 10-2-3, and 10-5, uh, and five, so we're not on a 3-to-1 ratio, uh, we're not on a ratio that will get us to 60 wins, and I want to get a 60-win season with this team, man, we have so many good players, I want to get it at least once in the 10 years that I was here, alright? Um, Subban's playing better than Bernie Mac, so we're going to keep uh, Subban in, and he's he's in right now, so we're good for that. Um, in the last video, I'll ask you guys about our special teams, because our penalty kill and our power play was really hurting us, um, and there was a few suggestions, but you know what? Since it was only one month, and we are 10-5, and five, um, I'm going to simulate one more month, see how it looks, because remember, always after one month, you never know what happens. Uh, teams are above four goals per game. Um, they're under like one goal against per game, you know, so it's crazy uh, stats in the first month So let's just do one more month of simulation. Yeah, whoops my bad one more month of simulation and see what happens Actually, wait, wait, wait. I can't do it like that, right? Because I'm switching the goalies around all right So Subban won the game against Carolina. Yeah, so let's say uh, he's getting at least two games here So let's see what he can do for us. I want to I want to keep this good streak going I want to get to 60 wins with this team. I know it may not happen. I mean, our defensive core is not as good, you can argue, as it was last year. But we're also more defensively this year, so maybe we can keep the puck out more. Uh, so Subban lost one, but then he won against New Jersey, so we're going to keep him in the net. All right. Come on, Subban. Come on, Sub-Zero. Show us that you're the real deal here. It wasn't just a one-off fluke in the playoffs, all right? Come on, show us that you can go. You can go. During the regular season as well. We're giving you some playing time here. You know what? His stats were a lot better than Bernie Max as well, I must say. Uh, it was only after like seven or eight games, but it was clearly better. Uh, the wins and losses were pretty similar, but uh, the goals against the save percentage a lot more different. Uh, so let's keep going here with Subban. He's tearing it up, man. There's, is this going to be four, four in a row, five in a row? Four in a row. All right. Uh, what are we at? 14 and six. Yeah, we need to get to like 18 and six to get back up to that three to one ratio. So come on. Oh, against the team that drafted in real life, the Boston Bruins. Subban gets a shutout. All right, he's got he's on a roll right now. He's got five in a row. Subban, Sub Zero, my man, man. This guy's great. He's really great for us. I don't know why. Like, like I'm not gonna get into uh, if he's better than Bernie Mac or not because it's a video game. It's a simulation. So many things come into into question. But if you look at the individual stats, Bernie Mac is like better in every single category than uh, Subban. So. Unless age and height and weight come into something to do with the goalies, I don't, I don't know. But Subban, it seems like he does a lot better than Bernie Mac. Um, there's one loss against Buffalo, so we'll keep playing him. Remember, it's going to be two losses, all right, for the goalies. Uh, but it's not going to be like there. It's going to be like two losses back to back. Uh, Subban lost one back here, but then he strung together some wins, so we keep them in the cage. And Bernie Mac gets the same uh, the same special treatment, all right. They can make a few mistakes, uh, but as long if they make consecutive game mistakes, then they're out. So, Bernie Mac, get back in there. I mean, Subban's a 90, but look, oh, Bernie Mac's a 94 now. So, I mean, individual stats is what matters. Uh, but it looks like, it, honestly, and by the simulation, it really does feel like uh, Subban is the better goalie. And I don't know why, because on paper, uh, Bernie Mac is the better goalie. But whatever. I got both of them, so I'm not going to complain. And there you go. There's a 6-3 to three win for uh, Bernie Mac. See, that's why his stats were a lot higher. He, he get the win, but he's still allowing three goals in a winning effort, right? So I'll keep going here, Bernie Mac. Let's keep an eye on Bernie Mac's goals against here. And this little run that he goes on. All right, so there's one. So that's pretty good. Uh, December 1st, the four restricted free agents. We don't have to worry about those guys. Let's keep it going here with Bernie Mac. I like having two goalies that we can switch back to back. Once one guy loses a few in a row, get the other guy in there. And then look, now Bernie Mac is on a three-game winning streak. A shutout and the uh, other game was a one goal against effort. So, yeah, he's starting to turn it around now as well. This is good. This is good. This is the coach's best problem to have. Which goalie do I put in there? They're both amazing. My well, God, it's one of those good problems, man. Got no problem with this. And it actually looks like our team is turning it around a little bit as well. With all these wins, I guarantee you our stats for every category will look a lot better. Especially our, uh, I don't know if our power play will look better, but I think our penalty kill will look a little bit better. Especially with all these wins, definitely. There's another win. Wow, Bernie Mac now, he's going on a little bit of a tear. Both these goalies almost have 11 wins each. Come on here, Bernie Mac. I gotta go blow my nose again. I better not be sneezing like six times again. I don't know what's going on. My allergies are all over the place. Hang on a second here, boys. All right, there we go. All right, so we finished our second month, November. Both goalies are neck and neck, basically. We have 21 wins. Subban has 11, so that means Bernie Mac has 10. All right, um, but uh, Bernie Mac, he just came off a shutout, so we're going with Bernie Mac still, and he's actually on a six-game 
uh, winning streak, having two shutouts in those six games. So, Bernie Mac's starting to turn it, uh, turn it around himself right now. All right? So, we're done two months. Let's go uh, check out all the little stats down here. Goals against average. Uh, Subban is our best. Yep, yeah, he's up there number six. All right? Save percentage. Uh, Subban's up there number seven. All right, so Subban is definitely still the better goalie on paper. Um, but uh, don't worry about that. Bernie Mac just had a rough first month. Wins. Uh, we're not up there because both goalies are like the same neck and neck for wins. Points. Uh, Stamkos and Lofthouse are three and four, and Little is seven. So it looks like that first line is still doing great for us. Assists. Uh, Stamkos leading our team with 25, second in the NHL. And goals. Uh, Sagan is leading our team in goals, and he's sixth in the NHL. All right, we are first in the Eastern Conference, and we are first in the NHL. So, President's Trophy, once again, within grasp. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say Stanley Cup, obviously, because playoffs are a different season. But um, let's check out the uh, team stats again. Let's see how we're looking now. Um, goals four per game. All right, yeah, you see what I mean? A nice little winning streak, a good second month there, and our goals for per game are way above 3.25 where I want it to be. It's at 3.69, so I'm guessing our power play definitely went up. Definitely. Uh, goals against per game, we're first in the NHL, so that's why. We're first for goals for and first for goals against. You can't go wrong with those kind of stats. Uh, 2.21, we're below 2.25, so I have no problem with our team right now. Even if our uh, special teams aren't the greatest, I, I don't think I should change up anything. Power play percentage, it's still down there at 20th, but we're first in the NHL uh, for goals. So... I don't know, maybe we're just scoring a lot of 5-on-5 five five goals, or maybe what's happening is we're getting so many power plays that we're scoring power play goals, but we're getting so many opportunities that our power play percentage is still down. Um, but we're first in the NHL for goals for, goals against, and first in the NHL overall for points, so I don't think I want to change up the lines at all, boys. Hang on a sec here. Uh, and our penalty kill percentage is 20th in the, in the NHL as well. Oh, uh, man. First in the NHL. First for goals for, first for goals against, but 20th in the league for penalty kill and 20th in the league for power play. Very interesting stats here. Very interesting. I don't know what I should do. Um, all right, so I know I'm going to have the people who are saying uh, if I make the changes, then I can get the team even better, but I don't want to mess with something that's good right now. I'm going to go one more month, boys. I, I'm not going to change the lines up whatsoever, all right? I like the way our record's looking right now, 21-5-3, and 21-8. and eight. That's just under the 3-to-1 ratio. Um, and our goals for and goals against are at top of the NHL. So I want to keep the team together right now. Yeah, let's do another month. Let's do another month, all right? And we'll do the we'll do this uh, another month in this video. So Bernie Mac is still in. Yep, Bernie Mac is still in, and he's on his six-game winning streak. All right, so hang on. Let me go for a sip of my tea. It's nice and early. Ah, all right, so Bernie Mac lost 2-1. to one. That's all right. It's still a good win. for uh, Not a good win. A good uh, a good loss. Like, obviously, no loss is good, but uh, it wasn't his fault. Just didn't score any goals. Scout assignments. He's back from the OHL forwards. Who was that guy that I was scouting? Let's see. Uh, it was definitely these guys. Uh, this Volpetti guy, 7.5, 7.5. He could be okay. So about to, we got enough on him now. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, there's two, there's three firsters here in the WHL. Let's go six weeks in the WHL. Very nicely done. All right, so Bernie Mac, he's got one loss. Let's see if he loses this game. All right, so Subban's going back in. And you know, those two games weren't really, uh, Bernie Mac's fault either. Both games, we only scored one goal for. So there's our, uh, goals four per game, uh, stat taking a hit right there. All right, so back-to-back -back games. He's getting at least two games no matter what. So I'll simulate two games up here. Come on, boys. Come on, let's keep this streak going. We had a good first month, a 2-to-1 ratio month, and we had a really good second month. Let's continue this here into the third month of December. Here we go. All right, so we got off that little losing streak that we were on. We had a three-game losing losing streak. Keep it up, Sub-Zero. Come on, shut her down, all right? Get those uh, veins icy cold again. There you go. There's a shutout. Very nice. I like it. Back-to-back -back wins for Sub-Zero. Showing us that he is our number one starter. He is, boys. I'll give it to you. If I were to start the playoffs right now, Sub-Zero would start game one, no doubt. No doubt, I'd give it to you. Uh, all right, so he's got back-to-back -back wins, so he gets two more win, uh, two more games at least. Come on here, and it's so interesting. Like Stamkos, 
I can't remember the last season that Stamkos has led our team in goals. I, I mean, like, that's what Stamkos is supposed to do, right? He's the 99 overall sniper. Like, he's leading the NHL in, the, in, the, uh, in real life, 60 goals this year. I can't remember. I'm sure he's led our team in goals one of the first few years. I know he did, in fact. Uh, but the last, like, four or five years, I can't remember him ever leading our team in goals. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to think if I should keep going with Subban. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, he won the last game. Yep, keep going with Subban. There you go. Keep it up, Sub-Zero. There you go. There's another win. I'm glad I stuck with him. There you go. Come on here. Come on. Keep going here. Pittsburgh Penguins. Big team. Crosby Malkin. Yeah, man. You know what? The Pittsburgh Penguins seem to be our... Uh, they seem... They must hate us, man. The last two years, Eastern Conference Finals, man. Oof. That would be, that would be a tough pill to swallow for sure. Uh, all right, Toronto Maple Leafs with James Reimer. Jim Reimer, who's like a god in this game by year uh, seven or eight. Good God, this guy's always leading the team. And look at Toronto's record, man. They got a pretty good record now as well. Yeah, man. Back-to-back -back games in the ACC. We'll give uh, Malcolm Subban back-to-back -back starts in his home city. I think it's his home city. I actually, I didn't get that answered. I'm pretty sure it is. Belleville, right? I think so. There's the first win and the second game's as a win as well. All right, so we had a very good month here. Very good month. And Malcolm Subban... He's on a five-game winning streak, and he's actually won seven of uh, eight. So Subban's doing very good here. All right. So we're 28-9-3. We won't go through all the individual stats again, but we are first in the Eastern Conference with 59 points, and we are first in the NHL with 59 points. All right. So once again, I can smell that President's Trophy, boys. Once again, I uh, go to team stats. I just want to check out the team stats once again. I want to see the, uh, the special teams. Uh, goals four per game. I'll just ch take a look at these. 3.40, still leading the league. That's good. Goals against per game, uh, 2.17, still leading the league. All right, so we're still playing uh, like gods back there. Our power play percent, you see what I mean? It, it can still jack up. With one good month, it can jack up. So it's at 20%, which isn't the greatest, but in the last month, it's probably clicking at like 25%, which is why it came up from 17. All right, so recently, it's doing good. Overall, it's still coming up from the uh, slower first two months. But uh, we are only 4% away from first in the NHL. So our power play is turning it around. And our penalty kill, uh, 18th. So it's not really going up. Um, it's kind of staying where it is. I could do something about our penalty kill, but uh, we're still we're, we're doing so good. I don't want to hurt it, right? I don't want to, even, uh, even if it doesn't get better, I don't want to make it worse because we're doing amazing right now. Um, and it's not guaranteed that I would make it better. I could accidentally make it worse. Uh, so... I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys can help me out with those stats. Uh, but let's check out, uh, before we end this video, let's check out the player stats. See who's producing, see who's not producing, and then maybe we can uh, change the lines around from uh, from that. All right, so let's go forwards first. Uh, Stamkos, all right, so as long as Stamkos is more than a point-of-game player, I don't. he doesn't have to have 120-point seasons, but he's better than a point-of-game player, and he's clicking at that right now. 45 points in 40 games. Lofthouse, same thing, and Len Little, 39 points in 40 games. All right, very nice. Tyler Sagan, uh, second line, 36 points in 40 games. That's great for a second line. Couldn't ask for more. Uh, Nugent Hopkins, 31 points in 40 games. All right, could be a little bit better. I mean, he's only on pace for like 60 points. Um, second liners, I wish they could get me like, you know, 65, 70, 75. Um, Sagan's on pace for something around there. The Nuge is a bit slow. And same thing with Granny Smith. He's a bit slow. But they're all on pace to have more than 60 points. And that is a good number. I'm just, I'm wishful thinking. Remember, we still are first in the NHL for goals for. So I'm not going to get on their backs too much. Third line, uh, Braden Shen, 24 points. This guy gets it done on the third line. Harper, 21 points. And Nick Ritchie, 10 points on the fourth line. Actually, no, Ritchie's on the third line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 10 points. And then our fourth line down here. Yeah, all looking good. Everybody's a plus player. All right, so I think our defense with defensemen are really helping our team out 5v5. Our penalty kill, I'm going to have to take a look at. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. All right, so Kindle, he's only on pace for, like, a good 40-something points. The same thing as Ekman Larson would have done. All right. Hedman, he's on pace for 40-something points, so we're still getting the points. Uh, we're not getting that secondary scoring from Shattenkirk and Beaulieu now. All right, but... All of our defensemen, look at Bisson. Even though he only has 7 points, he's still a plus 22. So he's not getting 5-on-5 five five goals, but he's keeping just as many as he would score, say, for Bolu or Shattenkirk out of the net. All right, Phillip Trout, he's only a plus 5, and Bone's a plus 9. But um, our whole team is plus players, all right? So the switch to a defensive style, uh, we may not be scoring as many goals. Um, and our power play percentage may not be as high. 
but uh, we're first in the league for uh, points and for goals for and goals against, so I can't really complain about anything here. Subban's got 25, Bernie Max got 15, Subban's got a better goals against average with more games played, all right? Uh, Bernie Max is below, or it's at 2.25, so Bernie Mac is still playing amazing, but Subban is just playing better. That's that's it. Uh, Bernie Mac's 10 and 3, Subban is 18 and 6. Uh, save percentage, Subban is at uh, 0.93, and uh, Bernie Mac is at 0.912, all right? So, <laughs> it's it's... Yeah, Subban is just playing out of this world right now. I mean, Bernie Mac, he's playing respectable, but Subban is just playing way too good, all right? So we're going to end this video, but I'll just let you guys look at our lines. 5v5, we're playing amazing. 5v5 defensively, we're playing amazing. Our power play has turned it up, so we're not going to touch our power play, but our penalty kill, all right? Maybe we could touch the penalty kill up a little bit. Maybe instead of Lemieux and a Golden back here, maybe we can throw maybe... Um, Sagan and Lofthouse because they have a better defensive category along with the better offensive and athleticism category. So uh, I wanted to put Lemieux and a Golden back in there, but maybe it is time to shake up the penalty kill just a tad. All right. And I think going forward, Subban is still our number one guy for sure. All right, boys. So let me know about the penalty kill, but everything else, I really don't think we should change whatsoever. All right. So in the next video, we'll take it to the trade deadline. See you guys there.